You know, sometimes we feel a bit like social event planners around here on 3 Plus U because it's so fun to have a chance to highlight the many uh, organizations that are doing fundraisers and that type of thing, especially in the springtime. So Adult and Teen Challenge is inviting you out to their event, their fundraiser event this year called All Things New. Do I have that right? You got it right. David That's McNabb it. is sitting here giving me the thumbs up. So yes. good to see you. Good to see you. You and I were chatting a little bit about how there's nothing wrong with going to a banquet event but right. those days seem to be a little bit gone. They are. People want to be out, but they want to be participating yes. in something. And this, Julie, this event, uh, we want it because what we've done, we've done the banquets for years sure. and years and years, and they're, and they're fun. We have a good time. But we want to do something that's out of the box, and we've been telling folks that this event is so far out of our box, we can't even see the box anymore. <laughs> uh, because we're going to be meeting uh, this, this year, we'll be at the First Horizon Pavilion downtown mm -hmm. uh, on May 14th at 1 o'clock. Now, this event is going to go on all evening, starting at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, on up till uh, when Big Daddy Weave is our featured guest. They're going to be uh, taking the stage uh, later on the evening. But we're going to have worship bands playing all day long. Uh, food trucks are going to be there providing uh, the food for us all day long. Uh, we're going to have a uh, uh, all kinds of family fun, uh, fam family friendly events. We've got uh, multiple bounce houses are going to be there. Fun. We've got one church, one of our participating churches is going to be supplying a, uh, a mobile arcade. So we're gonna have all kinds of fun stuff to do. Uh, we're gonna have a cornhole tournament in the, in the afternoon uh, featuring some uh, a newly appointed uh, state representative, Greg Martin, who is our chairman of the board at Teen, Adult and Teen Challenge. Uh, is going to be my partner, and so we have a team. I think uh, Matt Hollander is signed on. He's going to be playing as well. So we're going to have a lot of fun uh, in the afternoon with just family fun stuff, uh, testimonies of what we do at Adult and Teen Challenge, rolling all day long. To, we, it's, a, it's a way to get some folks that may not have come to a banquet uh, to be a part of a family-friendly event to right. see what it is the work that we do. Well, and you know, I think that the family-friendly nature of it, I think, is very smart because we certainly came together as families. We these did. last two years with COVID. Right. And I think people have realized that you don't want to always give that up on the one Friday night that you have exactly. to get a babysitter and say, see ya. Exactly. And that's, and that's the thing, you know, with the, when it comes to addiction, whatever the addiction may be, uh, families involved with it, whether they right. want to be or not. Right. And so it's like, this is an opportunity to come and hear about a ministry that's providing a, a freedom from addiction, uh, but at the same time doing it in a very, um, um, so informal way yeah. where it's not where it's not the staid kind of uh, uh, I want to preach to you about what we do uh, compel you to give an offering right. uh, so forth because your money is always accepted but uh, our focus is to let folks know what we what it is that we do and expose them to the community well and let's do talk about that because you know here I glossed over it and said the good thing from the last couple of years right. has been this family closeness but for right. an awful lot of people right. these last two years have been anything but yeah, exactly. uh, helpful and addictions did go up they did y'all have had a proven been success in helping people beat those. Our, uh, our, our recidivism rate is actually about one quarter of the national average uh, because what we teach is not, is, you know, disease requires a treatment, but bondage needs to be a, a, have a deliverer. And what we talk about is, you know, when it comes to the addiction aspect of it, uh, if somebody is, has been, has been uh, uh, cordoned off or quarantined for these last couple of years, uh, the very worst of what they're all about comes to be. They don't have the fellowship. They don't have the interaction with folks. Mm -hmm. And that depression that any of us could be prone to is just magnified for someone who struggles with some kind of a substance abuse. Do you almost anticipate that when you're doing this event on the 14th, since it is all day long, mm -hmm. that there might be some people who come who are on the cusp. We hope so. And they come to sort of see what you're all about. Right. The, because of the nature of the event, uh, it's, an, it's an outdoor event there in the pavilion, uh, but uh, if, if somebody happens to just uh, go by and hear a testimony or hear some of the music or whatever, uh, you know, it's going to be a very uh, community-friendly event. Yeah. Now for, for the concert, we have uh, bands and, and we have tickets for the concert, but during the, the events of the morning, I mean, you're free to come and, uh, and talk to any of us. Okay, so let's clarify then. Mm -hmm. It begins at 1. Right. Are you saying that when you come at one, sort of depending on what part of the venue you mm -hmm. have access to, right. you pay or you don't pay? Right. During the afternoon events, up until the concert, that's actually the ticketed part of what we're doing. Uh, to, to come to register for the Cornhole Tournament, there's a fee to, to register to participate. I see. But if you want to come to be a part of uh, and, uh, and buy some stuff off the food truck or if you want to come and play and the stuff like that, uh, the different things we got going on, yeah. We're, we just That's our service to the community, that part of the event. And back to the family side of it, I know that the people who 
are in your care mm -hmm. uh, at Adult and Teen Challenge have chosen to be there. Right. But uh, a minute left, when they're through, very often the first thing that they do is reunite with their family that loves them. Exactly. That's what we want. And we want those families to say, you know, this is, this is the kid, this is the spouse, this is the mom and dad that we lost a long time ago and then we have them back. That's the, that's the ultimate blessing for us. But we also know when they're finished with us, they stay connected to us because we want to be their accountability even beyond the program. Uh, now, when, once you're one of ours, well, we want you to maintain that relationship because, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're part of family and that's the, that's the way we believe it with the gospel. So for May 14th, do they yes. get their tickets for all of it now or can they get it that day when they show both, up? Both, okay. both. We'd prefer if they would. It always helps us with planning and seating and so forth. If they would go ahead to our, our website and, uh, and uh, register online and get their uh, armbands and everything, that will work out great. Okay, it's tcmidsouth.org. Uh, the fun begins at 1, runs until 9 on May 14th. And if you happen to have a cornhole board at your house, Start practicing now. I would suggest it. Maybe you could beat David and his team. We play to win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We're All back right. after this.